we have some Ethereum movement news. And this is from a dormant wallet. That's an ICO wallet that's been dormant for eight years and it just become active. Is it a coincidence that it just became active after the XRP lawsuit ruled? Maybe or maybe not. But this whale wallet has over 60,000 Ethereum and it has been moved to an address associated with the crypt, uh, crypto exchange Kraken. The transaction took place about two days ago on July 18th at 1130 p.m. UTC. And this uh, wallet bought the Ethereum when Ethereum was roughly 31 cents. So now that it's at $1,884, it's made roughly 5,500x. So they're cashing out at a pretty good ROI, but is this, the, is this a coincidence? Are they selling the Ethereum in order to buy some XRP? That could have actually happened over the last two days, but I don't think that was the full thing. And the thing is, like, um, I do believe that they could be buying XRP or other altcoins with this money, and it could happen over the next several days. So there could be, um, maybe this, this address and even more addresses, there could be a sell-off slightly of Ethereum over the next few weeks and buying of XRP or other cryptos. And it's very likely to be either XRP, Cardano, or um, Solana, because those have been the ones that have actually pumped the most. And because altcoins besides Ethereum have actually gotten some clarity, Ethereum's always had some kind of protection and clarity. I don't really know why. It's probably Joseph Lubin's connections with Gary Ginsler and otherwise. But since other coins have that same thing almost now, he might be looking to diversify. He also might just be wanting to cash out because he got 5,500x on his ICO earnings. And he might be afraid that the SEC is coming after those ICOs, so you might want to sell out before. But he also could be diversifying into other projects, so you'll be looking at XRP, you'll be looking at ADA, you'll be looking at Solana, the other L1s that are not going to be securities on the secondary market, because even though Torres didn't rule that the secondary markets were not securities, the way that she wrote her ruling, basically secondary markets are not going to be securities. So that's actually really, Really, really good news. Maybe not so great news for Ethereum, but great news for other cryptos because I think Bitcoin and Ethereum were gaining because that they had that protection against the SEC. But now since the ruling came down, people might be looking to diversify and Bitcoin and Ethereum dominance might start going down. Really, really good for XRP, but also very good for other alts as well. 60,000 Ethereum, not an earth shattering amount, but still good enough to move prices somewhat. So that is my news for today. Like and subscribe. Hit that bell notifications button and I will be back uh, later tonight.